Good reset. Damn it! <laughs> All right, I'll stop making jokes before you throw. I'm like tired right now, so I can't handle it. I just don't want to laugh at everything. I wish we had like a Tina reaction cam right now. <laughs> like just a dash mounted GoPro that was like, what's Tina's face look like? I do not envy you right now. I don't envy me either. I see another dance. Show me final nine. Wayne? Wayne. We're good. Hey Jeff. What's up, dude? Do you want to show everybody your cloud breakers? <laughs> My cloud breakers. That's uh, only like half of them, I think, too. Jeff, I Jeff's selling them. All of them. Wait, Gosh, this one looks... Have, have they seen this, this one? This one looks so blue on camera. Have they seen this one? What's this one? Oh, guys. Comment down below. Can What's you notice the difference? All right. That's all you get. But yeah. Jeff's <laughs> selling them for a very high price. I don't have any for sale, guys. All right, Jeff. Yep, Eagle doesn't have any. He won't even sell one to me. Yesterday, as you saw, I flew into Waco. I got a practice round in, just threw a whole bunch of different shots. Nothing really too refined, but today we're gonna head over the course and I'm gonna probably play either a one shot or a two shot round, um, keeping score to refine my feelings on the course to uh, hopefully gain some confidence going into the event. It's like super misty right now, not really raining, so it should be okay to go play. Uh, Jeff's right now in the Baylor bookstore. I don't know what he's doing, but after that, we're gonna head to the course. So it's gonna be a good day. Three, go get it. Oh my gosh, it's Team Discmania. Very good. Diamond Red is promo time. Promo. Discmania. 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 Year of evolution. Discmania. Golf discs. Discmania. Golf discs. I'm going to start using that. I really am. I hope you do, because I think it's a great intro. It's my favorite. It's you want to see Nace live on video? Or it's going to be post-produced. Simon's calling vlogging. Simon and his sneaky little sidearm. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Every night. What I wanted. That's better. Hey guys, going into day one of the Waco Charity Open. Feeling confident, I really like how my game is shaping up for this year, and that just makes me want to talk about the, the one disc that I'm really liking 
out there right now. I have a S-Line CD2 in the bag. Uh, this run came out a lot flatter and it feels really good for kind of touch forehands. I'm throwing it on uh, the first par five out there, the approach shot on the second par five, and maybe a few other times for like scramble shots. Just leaves the hand really clean, has this late flip up to it. And uh, usually it's really hard to uh, forehand understable discs, but for some reason this CD2 handles the torque really well, but still gets that straight kind of uh, understable flight. So I'm really digging that. We're gonna start the first round of the Waco Charity Open. And I'm on Jomez, heck yeah! Bottoms up. Do the classic vlog style. First round of the Waco tournament is over with. I shot a minus 10, which is rated 1047. Started off really hot. I believe I was like seven under through 10 holes. And then I finished at only 10 under, which is funny because I played the wooded holes way better than the open holes. And yeah, that's, that's kind of weird, right? But I got 36 holes left to play. And I'm confident that if I play my game and just uh, roll with the punches, uh, I'll be I'll be right there. So I'm looking forward till tomorrow and I get some shut eye. Yeah, just rest so I can be my best. Rest so you can be my best. Yeah, I like it. Okay, good night. Keep on dreaming. Oh my God, it's starting. Ah! <laughs> just get some gross piece of paper. Is that? For you. That's it. <laughs> Here, now you have two for the road. Kitos. <laughs> Kitos. Hey guys, it's Eagle McMahon. I want to welcome you to my brand new In The Bed. Right here, um, I'm going to start off with my favorite pillow. It's probably about... Uh, 20 years old, my mom gave it to me, so it's something that makes me think of her. I got this pillow that has a pillowcase that my grandma made for me. Okay, this is stupid. Um, yeah, round two, day two of the Waco Charity Open was better than the first round, but it didn't really feel like it. I shot a 12 under. Uh, I don't want to talk about myself too much. I want to talk about the fact that Paul McBeth shot 18 under and he's still not winning the tournament. Ricky Wysocki has gone 14 under, 16 under. I feel like I'm doing pretty good. I only have one bogey and I went 10 under, 12 under. Nope, that's not good enough. I am losing by eight strokes. Oh, so it's, yeah. Just gonna keep on dreaming till tomorrow, till the next second. Doesn't matter if you guys are by. Well guys, I'm back home in Colorado. To reflect back on this past week, I took sixth at the Waco Charity Open. Uh, I'm usually happy with a top 10 finish, but under this circumstance, there was uh, some pretty serious mishaps on the last two holes. I don't know if you've seen the Joe Mez coverage. Like, uh, I had a pretty bad mishap on hole 17 of the final round, as well as 18. I had a really close putt, and unfortunately, I missed the eagle. And that, that, that cost me, uh, that probably cost me anywhere from 100 to 500 to $800. So that's not fun. I did stick to my game plan, but uh, it was just like a phantom. There was almost no control at the time. I will be here in Boulder, Colorado for the next two weeks. I'm gonna be training. I have a signing session at the Discmania Warehouse. So stay tuned for that. If you want one of your discs signed, I'm gonna be, there's gonna be a whole campaign on that. I wanna tell you guys to subscribe to my channel, Eagles Vlogs, and this channel, Discmania Discs. We have a lot of cool things coming out soon. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna stop rambling. I actually have to go to a sensory deprivation tank right now. So until next time, guys, keep on dreaming. Peace.